The Victoria Cross is Canada's highest award for bravery in combat. Four VCs were awarded at the Battle of Vimy Ridge in 1917. One to Calgarian John George Patterson. Born in England, John arrived in Calgary in 1906 with his wife Sophia and their four children. He was an ordinary man by all accounts. When war broke out, he was 41 years old and at five foot two stood an inch short of the Army's height requirements. However, by 1917, long casualty lists had led to the height requirements being waived. John enlisted and arrived in France with Calgary's 50th Battalion on the eve of Canada's historic attack on Vimy Ridge. Easter Monday, April 9th, the 100,000 soldiers of the Canadian Corps stormed the ridge's formidable, some said impregnable, defenses. Two earlier attacks had cost 100,000 British and French casualties. Now, it was Canada's turn, and success seemed remote. At day's end, the Canadians had prevailed, capturing the ridge except for a stronghold on the eastern slope of its high point, Hill 145. The 50th attacked it the following day. When a German machine gun cut down the men in droves, the assault stalled. Patterson jumped from shell hole to shell hole and hurled three hand grenades into the machine gun nest, then finished off the survivors with his rifle and bayonet. To his comrades, the little man had never stood so tall. The 50th swept forward and took the rest of Hill 145. Vimy was all Canadian, but the war went on. On June 3rd, Patterson was severely wounded by an exploding artillery shell and died soon afterwards. He was 42 years old. On July 31st, he was awarded the Victoria Cross for his valor on Hill 145. In 1936, the Vimy Monument was dedicated near the spot where Patterson won his Victoria Cross during the final scene. In an epic struggle for a blood-soaked ridge whose capture transformed Canada from a British colony into a self-confident nation. John George Patterson had proved himself anything but ordinary. He was a hero.